She think arguing and drama is normal in a relationship. She think that it's supposed to happen. But she's still single. But every relationship she get into, she like to argue, nitpick. She like to start drama. And if a guy not giving her drama, she gonna think he weak. And if a guy do give her drama, she gonna think he's strong. But she's still gonna end up breaking up with him because it's gonna, it's gonna damage the relationship. He's gonna either be abusive or just nonchalant and just it's gonna be a reckless relationship. So nothing good gonna come out of it. She gonna get the rush that she want. She gonna get the drama that she want, the arguing, the, the makeup, sex, and all that type stuff. But in the end, somebody gonna get irritated. At the end of the day, it's a war. It's a game. You know, fuss and fight and make up sex. And the only thing, those individuals that like make up sex, this type of relationship is, they, they go after this. But they, those people end up single. Most of them, 99.9% .9 of people who, who like that make up sex type stuff, they end up single. Because sex is really good in a relationship, it's, it holds a lot of weight. But without that mental, spiritual, and emotional connection, that good conversation and good vibe and positive energy as well, it's going to go down the drain if you don't know how to talk to each other. Because that's a tug of war type of relationship. You know, this person got to say they sorry. This person got to act like they sorry. This person got to do this and that. And a lot of people don't understand it. That's just a wear and tear. And ain't nothing good gonna come out of that. So many, so many people think relationship posed to argue and this and that. When actually they posed to come together to an agreement in some form or fashion, whether you disagree or not. But both of them should be trying to find an answer. And hopefully the disagreements is not just for power. Because some people disagree just because they don't want to be wrong. While others disagree because they actually know something else. So you got to understand that it's nothing wrong with disagreeing as long as you have information to, know, to, to why you disagree. Why do you disagree? Do you have substantial information why you disagree? Or are you just disagreeing because you don't want the person to be right? You're going to have low self-esteem. You want to control the relationship. So you got to be always right even when you're wrong. So it's a lot of different scenarios. It's the truth, you know, it's mathematical to all this stuff. But this type of individual female, she likes to, she likes to, she likes to go back and forth. You know, she likes to go back and forth. She likes to nitpick and look for, even when there's not, no problems. And if there's no problem, she got to create one. And those individuals like that, they will create one. This particular type of female, she will create a drama, a scenario, a problem. You ate the last fruit loop. You forgot, you didn't, you went and got some water, didn't ask me if I wanted some. You went to the bathroom, didn't ask me if I wanted to use the bathroom. So they gonna make up, you always can find fault if you're looking for it. If you wanna start an argument, people can start an argument over anything if they want. You can make up something. You didn't brush your hair because you're trying to irritate me. Like, what in the world? I didn't brush my hair because I'm trying to irritate you. You didn't brush your beard because you're trying to irritate me. You know that, you know what I'm saying? You know I don't like beads. You know I don't like naps. You ain't brush your hair because you know I don't like naps. I never knew you didn't like naps. They can make up stuff anytime they want. Especially if they want to break up with you or if they think if they want to start some friction. Most of the time, they just want to start some friction. If they can't start no friction with you, it's like, Psh, this ain't the situation I want to be in. It's too peaceful. I wasn't raised off peaceful relationships. I don't want to see peaceful relationships. I don't want to be in one. I need drama. I need something to complain to this, to my friends about. He did it again. He did it again. He didn't come home last night. He didn't come home last night. We got in the fight. 
she ain't gonna say he was like bang, 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 bang. He ain't gonna say that. She ain't, he ain't gonna. She ain't gonna say that. She gonna say we got in the fight, but she ain't gonna say that he was a bang, bang, bang because she kind of like that, even though it may cost her heavily. It may cost her for liking something like that. It may cost her big time. So she'll be like, we, we fought and argue a little bit. No, he actually. So she addicted to that type of behavior, but she likes to complain to her friends and to her aunt, you know, whoever she like to complain about. She like to listen to those songs where he did it again, and, you know. Can't get that from a dude who's just chilling, who just on his purpose and He's caring about you. He, he's not perfect. He naturally gonna have flaws, but it's nothing that you really can argue about. So it, it don't, don't the flaws that 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 type of guy got is not it's human flaws. It's nothing that he's projecting purposely. It's just human flaws, and that's why. That's why. She's not with him. She's not with that type of dude because it's boring to her. She got to be in this type of relationship with his drama, which is a dead-end relationship. It's a dead-end situation relationship. It's an endationship. It's going to end. It's destined to end. <laughs> uh, endationship. I just made that up, by the way. You just heard it first time from Alan Williams the Rillionaire. So if you ever heard endationship, I never heard nobody say it. So I just said it. I'm gonna look it up. Somebody may have, but I doubt it. But these them endationships is destined to end. You see what I'm saying? Because ain't no love in it, and you're addicted to drama. It's no real genuine communication. It's no real genuine love there. It's all based on excitement, adrenaline, and competing, and controlling, and tug of war. And the whole relationship is based on makeup sex. Indationships are based on makeup sex. Let's make up and have sex, but boom, boom, let's have a good fun. The next thing you know, a week and a half go by, then maybe two weeks go by, then uh-oh, it's time for some more excitement. I saw you looking at her. I saw you looking at her. Don't lie. Why are you going to lie? You going to lie in front of me? You going to lie in front of me? You going to lie in front of me? It's the same old, same old in Ch all over the world. New York, D.C., Chicago, L.A., Miami, Georgia, Illinois, Wilmarkey, Nevada. It don't matter. Pennsylvania, Delaware. You got people like this all over the nation and the world. Mainly in the U.S., but the U.S. have infiltrated everybody mimicking the U.S. now. You got Muslim girls on OnlyFans. Check out my IG. IG, my IG link below. Everybody is influenced by the... Um, by the United States culture, which is evil culture. We got an evil culture. Moralist. Lawlessness. I think all this coronavirus and all that, it's a manifestation of the physical world. Of the spiritual world. Meaning that we don't know who we are. We got masks on our face. That's the God's way of saying we got masks on our face, whether it was man-made or from the dark forces of, of a different realm. All this stuff comes from the spiritual world, man. It's a spiritual warfare out here. The Matrix is an evil system designed by Satan himself. And he got a lot of help. Try to avoid the drama, the, the drama queens. 
that want to be in indationships. They don't want relationships. They want relationships that's destined to end. Indationship. You know who I am. I'm Alan Williams, the real your name. Hit that like, follow, subscribe. Check out the next video. It's made directly for you. You know who you are. I'm looking at you right now. Yeah, you. No, no. You. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Don't look around and say, yeah, I see you. I see you. I see, I see you. Man. It's all good. It's for you. The next video is for you. Much love. I'm out.